Hi guys, so we're ready for Saxon Phonics Lesson 67. So yesterday we talked about compound words, so let's see what we're going to talk about today. All right, we're going to practice saying our alphabet in a special way. Yesterday we talked about saying it soft and loud, so today what we're going to do is if it's a letter that goes all the way up to the top like B, see look how B touches the top, we're going to reach up high. If it's a letter that touches that middle line that's lower place, we're going to reach out to the side. And if it's a letter that hangs down under the line, we're going to reach down. Are you ready? So we have A, then B, C, D, E, F, O, G, H, I, J hangs down, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, what about T, T, U, V, W, X, Y, Z, very good. All right, so I'm going to say a word, and you're going to echo back the word that I say, okay? And we're going to try to, remember how yesterday we listened for the initial sound and we changed it? Today we're going to listen for the vowel sound and change it. So this is a little bit trickier. You ready? So if I say the word packed, packed, what's the vowel sound we hear in packed? Ah, ah, very good. So in packed, we're going to change the ah to an i. So change that vowel sound from an a ah to an i. Pit, very good. All right, you ready for our next one? Boast. Boast, what vowel sound do you hear? Oh, very good. All right, in boast, we're gonna change that long o sound to an e sound. So, Best, very good. All right, this one's a little trickier. Are you ready? Dense, dense. That's right, that eh, eh sound. So in dense, change the eh to an ah. Dance, very good. All right, what about sick? Sick, what vowel sound do you hear? That's right, the i sound. So in ick, change the i to an a. Ah. Sack, very good. This is going to be our last one. Are you ready? What about tight? Tight. That's right. It has the long i sound. So change the long i sound to an o sound. Are you ready? Tote, very good. That one was tricky, so we're going to practice that some more. All right, let's go ahead and name our letter cards. Are you ready? So we have digraph T H, digraph N G, digraph E E, combination E R. And we have trigraph I G H. Oh, this got the dot. So vowel Y, A consonant E, final syllable T L E, D. Final syllable, P L E. U consonant E. E consonant E. Final syllable, D L E. W. O consonant E. B. G. U. R. I consonant E. Final syllable, G L E. M. Final syllable, B L E. E, X, Y, J, V, final syllable, F, L, E. Very good. Let's look at our sound cards. We didn't add any new sounds yesterday, so we're pretty much stayed the same. So let's try them real quick. You ready? So we have sheep, E, digraphy E, umbrella, uh, U, very good, ruffle, fool. Final syllable, F-L-E. Staple, pull. 
final syllable, P-L-E. Hey, do you remember what this picture is called? That's right, bugle, ghoul. Final syllable, G-L-E. Ring, ng. Digraph, N-G. Yarn, y. Y. Inch, i. I. Cake, a. A consonant e. Butter, er. Combination, e. R. Feather, th. Digraph, t h. Goat, g. G. Cube, u. U consonant e. Wagon, w. W. Thimble. Digraph th. Dime, i. I consonant e. Shark, sh. Digraph sh. Vest, v. V. Light, i. This is tricky. Trigraph igh. Then we have hose, o. O consonant e. Candle, dull. Final syllable, D-L-E. Fox, X. X. Bubble, bull. Final syllable, B-L-E. Hook, U. Digraph, O-O. Cry, I. Vowel, I. Jar, J. J. Tooth, U. Digraph, O-O. Elephant, e, eh. e, equal, e, e, candy, e, vowel, y, very good. So we have lots of that long e on these cards. All right, so you're going to echo the words I say and listen to their ending, okay? So listen at their ending. Hatless, endless, hatless, endless. What did you hear at the end of those words? We heard the less sound very good. So if you look, each of these words has the suffix less at the end, okay? So that L-E-S-S. -S. If I cover up the word less, do I still have a root word? Yes, look, I have at, hat. Over here, if I cover up less, I have end. End is a root word because it makes sense by itself. So what we do is we call this suffix, we call the suffix L-E-S. So suffix L-E-S, or you can say suffix less, okay? Can you guess what the less means? Hmm, what do you think the less is going to mean? Suffix less or suffix L-E-S means without. So if I say hatless, it means I'm without a hat. Endless means that it's without an end, like it keeps going on. And so we know how do we code suffixes. That's right, we put that box around and we act like it's a separate part. So now I'm gonna give you a word and I want you to add that suffix L-E-S to it and see if you can, okay? If I have the word color, and you're gonna add the suffix. Colorless, very good. Which means that it'd be without color. All right, we're gonna try another one, are you ready? Today we're gonna be listening for the endings again. Ready? Redness, softness. Redness, softness. What did you hear at the end of that word? That's right, you hear ness. So if you look, it says redness, softness. Now again, if I cover up the ness, is red a word by itself? Yes. If I cover up the ness over here, is soft a word by itself? Yes. So these are suffixes, okay? Can you guess what that ness means? Hmm. Let's see if we can guess. And we're going to call the suffix ness or suffix n-e-s-s. -S. You can say it both ways. Suffix ness or suffix n-e-s-s -S describes the quality of something. So redness means how red is it? Softness means how soft is it? Okay, so you think about it that way. All right, we're going to try one more. Are you ready? This one's a little trickier. Sweetly, safely, softly. What did you hear at the end of those words? Sweetly, safely, softly. What did we hear? 
That's right, you hear the Lee sound. So if you look, that Lee sound is made by L-Y, okay? So we call this suffix L-Y. And what do you think that L-Y means? Listen to the words again. Sweetly, safely. Hmm. Let's see what that suffix L-Y means. Suffix L-Y can tell you how something is done or how often something is done, okay? So sweetly is how it's done. It's done sweet, okay? Safely is how it's done. But it has a couple other different meanings that we'll see when you add on. But basically, we're just looking at it as that suffix. When we see L-Y at the end, it says Lee. So that Y makes the that long E sound, and we're going to make sure we box it off because it's a suffix, okay? Right, can, we can check it right here and make sure this is a root word. Sweetly, is sweet a word by itself? Yes, that L-Y is added to tell you how something is done. Is safe a word by itself? Yes, that L-Y was added to tell you how you did it. You did it safe. All right, we're gonna practice coding some words with those suffixes. Ready to um, code some words today. And remember, we worked on some new suffixes today. We worked on the less suffix and the, the L-Y suffix L-Y too, okay? So let's look at this word. What do you notice? That's right, it's got that suffix of less. So I'm gonna box it off, because I know this is less by itself. I already know that word part, and so I don't have to sound it out. So then I look at my first part. What do you notice about the vowels in this word? My vowels are O and E, but they have a consonant between it. So this is gonna be an O consonant E word. And we have those O consonant E words. Remember the O is long and that sneaky E comes in and is silent. Remember he changes the vowel from a short vowel to a long vowel. So now when we sound it out, we have home, home. Because remember if that sneaky E wasn't there, it would be ha um, hom. But because that sneaky E's there, it says home. So home less homeless very good all right and let's look at this next word what do you notice about the next word it's got a y at the end but we have to figure out if that's going to be a suffix or not okay so when we look at this word where are my vowels i've got u as a vowel and i've got y as a vowel and the i have got consonant and consonant between it so since it's that vowel consonant consonant vowel pattern this y can't act as suffix y okay so let's see. I know I need to divide it up right between those consonants. And then I have a vowel that's got a consonant behind it, so it's gonna be short. So I've got p up, pup. And then let's look over here. I've got a consonant with that vowel behind it. I know it's gonna act as a vowel, so I'm gonna code it as a vowel, but let's see if it's gonna be a short or a long sound. Pup and then Remember, I can say I or E, so pup pie, pup pie. Does that make sense? No. What about pup e, puppy? Very good. So this is puppy. So homeless puppy. All right. Let's look at our next word. What do you notice? It's got that suffix ly. So I'm gonna box it off. That suffix ly. So now when I look at it, I've got this first word. Now. If I look at this and try to code it, look what happens. I've got a vowel consonant E, okay? So normally that would be an O and we'd say la ove lovely though, is that a word? No, this is one of those tricks. This is a sight word and the sight word of love. When we sound out love, listen, la, uh, uh, it almost sounds like a U. So we're gonna circle it because it's a trick because it doesn't make sense. It's just one of the rule breakers, so I've got Lovely, lovely, good job. All right, let's look over here. What do you notice? This is actually a compound word. It's two words together, okay? So I'm gonna divide it up in the middle so I can see my two words, okay? Because this is two separate words and then we can code it, okay? All right, let's go ahead and divide up our first word. Are you ready? What do you notice right off the bat? That's right, it's got a final stable syllable. So I'm gonna put my bracket off because remember it's its own syllable and it's the syllable of dull. Now when I say dull, do you hear the E? No, remember the E is always silent in those final syllables, okay? So dull, 
Now I look at my first word. I've got an A in front of an N. The A has to be short, that's right. So candle, candle. Now let's look at our next part. What do you notice in here? I have that new thing from last week. I have a trigraph, we remember, which is three letters that make one sound. So I'm gonna underline that trigraph. Remember, there's something special about the trigraph of IGH. It just says the sound I. That I makes a long sound and that G and H both get crossed off because we don't hear them, they're silent. So when I sound it out, it says light, light. So candle light. So lovely candlelight. So let's read it one more time all together. Ready? Homeless puppy, lovely candlelight. All right, guys, awesome job. All right, guys, we are ready to go ahead and connect to our activity sheet so we can practice using those suffixes. All right, guys, we are ready to complete our activity sheet for today's lesson. So the first part, just like always, is we're just gonna practice spelling some of those sounds that I hear, okay? So if you hear the ul sound, the ul, how can we spell that? That's right, it's the letter L, but then it also has final LL, because remember, sometimes when we have that ul at the end of the words, it takes two Ls to spell that. Okay, what about E? So we have digraph E, E, comma E, but then we also have final E, E, and then Y. We added that Y at the end. What about er, er? That's right, combination E, R. Very good. How about I, I? So we have I consonant E, very good, comma I. But then we also learned if it's at the final, I at the end is going to be spelled with Y because we usually don't use an I at the end like that. Okay, on number five, what about dual? Dual. That's right, that final state syllable, D L E, final syllable, D L E. Very good. Dual. All right, on number six, what if I want to spell the S? sound. That's right, it's S, but then just like the L, because it's our floss rule, final S, S. So sometimes when we have that S at the end, it takes two S's to do that. Okay, what about V? That's right, V, but then we also have final V, E, because remember, if we hear the V at the end of the word, V can never be by itself at the end of words. We need that sneaky E behind it, okay? And then number eight, what about J, J? How can I spell that? That's right, J, okay? And then this was our long one, are you ready? What about the K sound? So I've got K comma C, if it's in the middle or in the beginning of the word, then I have endings, C, K, comma, K, comma, K, E, and C. Remember that K sound can be spelled so many different ways. All right, and our last one for the day, what about X? X. How do I spell that? That's right, that's that X sound. All right, on number 11, we're going to try to spell the word nest. Nest, so what do we hear? N, N, very good. E, 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 good job, and then St, 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 perfect. All right, on number 12, we're going to spell the word flagpole. So let's break it apart. What's our first word? Flag. So full, F L, very good. A, A, G. So flag, and then P, P, O. Okay, right now, though, it just says flagpole. So I need to add that E to make it say the long O, flag. Pole, flagpole, that's our compound word that we're working on. All right, so I'm going to zoom out just a little bit so you can still see the bottom. On number 13, we're going to try to spell the word gladly. Gladly, it has that lee at the end, which was that suffix we talked about today. So first, gl, g-l, very good, a, 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 d, 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 and then 
Lee. So we need that L-Y to say Lee at the end. Very good. What about homeless? Homeless. Let's think about that. That less is an ending, so home. How do I spell home? H O O. Very good. M. Home. I only hear the M, but look, if I don't have the E on there, it says ha om, home. So I need to make sure I add that E for it to say home. And then less is just L E S S. Very good. All right, now what about the word redness? Redness. Well, I know how to spell R. Or I know how to spell red. Red is R E D. Okay? And then ness is just N E S S. So when I break it apart, I can spell it quickly. All right, on number 16, what do you notice about that word? That's right, it's got that suffix L Y. So I'm going to box off that L Y. Okay, and then after I box off that L-Y, the other part of the word is B-A-D. Well, I know that word. That's a CVC word, bad. So I know that A is short. So badly, badly. Okay, on number 17, what would I do to code that word? That's right, it's got suffix L-Y, so box it off. Now what do you notice about the first part of the word? That's right, it's got an A consonant E word. So that A is going to be long with a macron, and that E is going to be silent. So safe, safely, safely, so badly and safely so far. What do you notice about 18? That's right, it's got suffix less, L-E-S-S. -S. So I'm going to box it off. And then what do you notice about the rest of the word? That's a U, sneaky E word, so that U is long and that E is silent. So Useless, useless. All right, on number 19, it's got suffix L-E-S-2, less, that's right. So I'm going to box it off. And then my vowel is E, it's in front of an N, so it's going to be short. So end, endless, very good. All right, on number 20, what do you notice about that word? It's got that suffix N-E-S-S, ness, okay? So I box that off, and then my I is in front of the L, so it's going to be short. So illness, illness. So badly, safely, useless, endless, and illness. So which one do you think matches the picture? That's right. She looks like she's sick, so it's an illness. All right, on number 21, what do you notice about that word? That right, that's right. It's got the Y at the end, so I'm going to box off that Y and see if it's working as a suffix. Okay. And then what else does it have? It has that digraph SH, so I can cut, underline it. It's got an I in front of an S, so I know it's short. So fish, fish, E, fishy. Very good, because remember, when Y is a suffix, it almost always says E, fishy. All right, number 22. What would I do to that word? There's not much to code, is there? I've got an I in front of an N, so it's going to be short. So then I could say grr. In grin, very good. Number 23 is a really short word, too. I've got an O in front of a D, so it's short, but then I also have two Ds, so I can cross it off. So I have odd, odd, very good. All right, on number 24, where are my vowels in this word? Well, I've got a V and I got an E over here, but look what this E is connected to. I see that TLE. So I'm going to have to box that off and know that that final syllable is tool, so it has that silent E on there. And now my E over here is just like having a CVC word, so it's going to be short. So I have k-et, kettle, kettle. And I can see it's a picture of a kettle up here. All right, and then number 25, where do you think I'd break apart that word? Well, I see, I know this first word in it is hand, so I'm going to break it apart right there for that compound word, okay? And then what's my vowel in the first word? It's an A. It's in front of an N, so it's short, so and, hand. And then on the other side, you have an A, but you've got a consonant between it and an E, so that A is long and that E is short. And then I have that SH, which is a digraph, so I'm going to underline it, so sh, ache, shake. Handshake. So fishy, grin, odd, kettle, and handshake. Very good. 
All right, on the back, remember, you guys are going to help listen to the story and read along, and then we're going to find some answers at the end, okay? It says, Dave's shyness was something he did not like. It was tricky to meet people. He would gladly let his brother tell others his name. His shyness seemed to be endless until he met Pam. Pam. She was so friendly that she made him feel less shy. So who was shy? That's right, his name was Dave. Dave. Who would tell people Dave's name? Pam, Dave, or Dave's brother? That's right, Dave's brother. It says he would gladly let his brother tell him his name. Who made da Dave feel less sat shy? That's right, till he met Pam. So we're going to say Pam did that. Pam, good job. All right, there's a couple words at the bottom that you can practice. And then I will see you tomorrow. Great job today, guys.